Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book review for Roomies by Christina Lauren. This was my pick what I read next for the month of June, and I was super excited for this. If you didn't know, it was recently in the last month-ish announced that this is going to be a movie. I don't know when that's going to happen, but that's really exciting. I love when any book is announced to become a movie, and Christina Lauren has a ton of books out, and so it's about time one of their books is going to become a movie. But this is one I was super excited to read. It's about a girl named Holland who she watches this guy musician in the subway every day she goes out of her way to watch him and then one day he ends up kind of saving her life but kind of after reading this book and they end up getting married so that he can stay in the US and have a green card because he's from Ireland and he has a chance to be like this up-and-coming musician and so I was really excited I will say I have super mixed feelings about this book. I went on Goodreads and saw everyone's giving it a five star, everyone's giving it a four star. They loved it, they loved everything about it, they loved the romance, thought it was hilarious. And for me, I still don't know how I feel about this book. I felt like I was reading it forever and it only took me three days, according to Goodreads. And I felt like I was reading it for like a week. So. I think what's bothering me about this book is how tropey their relationship became. So a lot of things that happened in here was like miscommunication, lack of communication, seeing a picture and coming to your own conclusions and not talking about it. And so every single obstacle in their relationship seemed to be because of those things that happen in like every book. Oh, well, they assume something, they didn't talk about it, and they're super mad at them and don't talk to them, but oh, it was just all a misunderstanding kind of thing. So I was getting a little bit annoyed with that, and I think that I didn't connect with Calvin. I don't know what it was about this book, but like, I didn't get his feelings, and I didn't believe his feelings for Holland, and then he's saying all these things, I was like, wow, that happened really fast, and I didn't even know you actually kind of liked her, and I think it's because we were in Holland's head the whole time. This is first person from Holland's perspective, and I am not sure if I connected with Calvin enough and believed his feelings enough, and... I hate it. Another book did this. I can't spoil anything, but if you've read this book and you know when they first discover their physical attraction to one another and do something about it, how that went about, I hate it when books do that. So that kind of, I was just like, really? And then they like kind of have to awkwardly like think like, oh, did like that actually mean something or did it not? And so like, I do love the fake marriage whole plot line. I love the proposal the movie. But this to me, I don't know, I just didn't connect with it as much as I wanted to. I didn't, I wasn't invested in it, I didn't think it was this hilarious book. I think her surprise for his birthday was the stupidest thing I ever heard. And it was funny what happened during that surprise, but I was like, really? Like, really? And I don't know, I just feel like it didn't connect with me. And I'm really, really sad about that because everybody seems to be loving this. I have seen a couple of reviews, like, so I ended up giving it a three star. I've seen a couple of reviews who have not given it the full four or five stars, raving about it like everyone else is. And I agree with them. It was, it was a good, cute book, but I'm just like, it felt so things thrown in for the sake of being an obstruction to their relationship. And... I really can't spoil anything else, but like as we were going through the book, I'm just like, okay, well, there's another instance where there's miscommunication. Now here's miscommunication. Oh, here's something. They never tell each other, and it's like, it's really annoying. And there are points where it's like, if you just talk to one another, this all will be like worked out, no problem. Um, and I don't know how I felt about her character because she's supposed to be this writer and she went to get her MBA in creative writing, and then she was like, oh, but I haven't written in like two years. And I'm like, and I get she was saying like, oh, she needed to live in order to be able to write because she hasn't lived enough to be able to write. But like, she wasn't even trying. And she wasn't even like having any of these story ideas. She's like, oh, she had all these short story collections like she wrote and all through school and she missed that. But she hasn't opened her laptop. I don't know. Just like knowing writers and like people who go to school for creative writing, they obviously get your master's in creative writing. You obviously want to do something in at least writing. And she was just working at the playhouse that her uncles or uncle had like this huge production for. So I don't know, I feel like she, and I mean like she felt that way too, she was like wasting away her potential, but I feel like she was just so taking a back seat to her life and like that was the point, she was supposed to be doing that, but it just bothered me. Like as I'm 24 and I'm just like, have some ambition. Like, 
And I guess there are people like that and like that's kind of the rut that she fell in but it was just kind of annoying to me how she was just okay living her life like that until Cal this instance with Calvin happened and she finally like went out on a limb and decided to marry some random person to give him a green card even though she had a huge crush on him kind of thing. So I don't know. I didn't really enjoy Holland's character too much because she was so passive in her own life and I didn't get Calvin's connection to her and I didn't really feel connected to their story. It was cute, it was fluffy, a fast read I guess because I read it in two days even though I felt like it took forever but it just wasn't for me and like maybe you'll love it and I know everybody's been loving it and I just don't know what's wrong with me. There's just some books that just don't click, maybe it was the wrong time I read it, I don't know but it was just an okay read. I gave it a three stars. I'm not gonna like go and read it again. I'm happy I got it from the library so I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna reread this. Um, I'll probably watch the movie because, like, it's probably gonna be a really fun movie, but as a book, I just couldn't connect with it. And that is my review for Roomies. Let me know down below if you felt that way or why you loved it. I would really love to hear. And if you're gonna pick it up, I totally recommend go for it. Everybody's been loving it. Pretty sure it has over four star rating on Goodreads. It just was not for me. And it might be because of when I read it. I don't know, but. Let me know if you liked it or not. That's all I have for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.